a look at the meter of the sonnet which is a very significant com significant component of writing poetry and let's take a look at the first verse of the sonnet and see what meter does Edmund Spencer follow in Amart. Now coming uh, to the verse, first verse of this sonnet that is second sonnet, it reads unquiet thought home at the first I bread. Now let's first count the number of syllables that we have in this verse. Un is one syllable, uh, qui is another syllable, at is third syllable, thought is fourth syllable, home we have got only one syllable, uh, at only one syllable, the one syllable, first one syllable word, I one syllable, bread one syllable. Now if we count the number of syllables it would be like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So what we have in this verse is 10 syllables which means the verse is consisting of 5 feet. Now if uh, you have watched the lecture on William Shakespeare a verse consisting of 10 syllables is known as pentameter written in 10 syllables means written in pentametric form having 10 syllable means that this is a pentameter. Now if we look at the pattern of the syllables it is as it's on your screen unstressed syllable and a stressed syllable and then unstressed syllable and a stressed syllable. Now you have un which is unstressed syllable, qui is a stressed syllable, at is a small syllable, a feminine syllable, an unstressed syllable, thought is a stressed syllable, home is an unstressed syllable, at is a stressed syllable, d is an unstressed syllable, first is a stressed syllable, i is an unstressed syllable, and bread is a stressed syllable. So if we read it like da, dum, da, dum, this is how we, uh, we uh, read the verse or a poem in I am big, I am meter. So whenever, as we have told you even earlier in some lectures, an unstressed syllable is followed by a stressed syllable, this uh, form is called as I am. This pattern of syllables is known as I am. So what we have, uh, we have uh, a pattern where unstressed syllable followed is followed by a stressed syllable though so this is known as I am and with 10 syllables in one verse makes it pentameter therefore meter of the sonnet is iambic pentameter. So what we have come to know is that Amority, the sonnets in Amority are written in iambic pentameter. There would be certain sonnets which would not be following this meter strictly, but still, uh, in general, a general opinion, a general view would be that they are written in iambic pentameter. Uh, they have 10 syllables and an unstressed syllable is followed by a stressed syllable. Now, that was about the meter of the sonnet.